What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here. We are about to find the perimeter of this rhombus here. If DF, that entire diagonal right there, is equal to 16, and if HE, that part right there, is 15. Hmm. Well, what do we know about our diagonals of a rhombus? They are perpendicular to each other, and they also bisect each other. So if DF is 16, that makes DH right here 8, and HE is 15. I also said they are perpendicular bisectors. So this guy here is a right angle. Hmm. If I want the perimeter of a rhombus, I'm going to need all of its sides. Now all the sides are congruent. So if I find one side, I get all the sides. Well, this is an 8, 15, 17 Pythagorean triple, right? 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. So if that guy is 17, all of them are 17. You know, let's just do 4 times 17. That's going to give me 34, 68. 68 eight for my perimeter of DEFG. That's dope and awesome. We got another problem right over here, but it has, uh-oh, no diagram. Eee, that's scary, right? Okay, well, the perimeter of the rhombus uh, ABCD is 52 feet. The shorter diagonal is 10 feet. Find the measure of the longer diagonal. So let's draw up something like similar to this one here. And I'll label it A. B, C, D, not as pretty as this one, but it's all right, it'll get the job done. Throw my diagonal and my diagonal, okay. So let's see here, the, the shorter diagonal is 10. Um, well, let's see here, I'll throw like a little E action in here, right, A, B, C, D, E is the next letter. Um, this guy right here then is 10 feet. Uh, so that make this five and five, right, because my diagonals of a rhombus perpendicularly bisect each other. They still bisect each other just like a parallelogram. A rhombus takes all the properties of a parallelogram, which is super dope, right? But also all my sides are congruent, which we already used here. 52. Hmm. Could I do that? But like the opposite. Oh, 52 divided by 4. That's going to equal 13. So all of these guys are 13. 13, 13, 13. Whee! All the 13s. It says, find the measure of the longer diagonal. Well, I know these are perpendicular to each other, right? Perpendicular bisectors of each other. This is five, that's 13. I have a right triangle right now, just like I had before, but my leg is missing. Do you remember our Pythagorean triples? Five, 12, 13. And if you did not know that, you could have done five squared plus let's say B squared equals 13 squared and solve for B, right? But I love my Pythagorean triples. I remember them, boom, that's 12. But is that my answer? No. This guy is also 12, so my entire diagonal is gonna be 24. We're in feet, feet, boom, had just enough room right there. So 24 feet for the longer diagonal there, 12 plus 12, that is dope. Key things to remember with the rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular to each other, right? They perpendicularly bisect each other, already bisecting from our parallelogram, but the perpendicular is added in there. and all of these sides are congruent. Another fun fact that we did not use is that it also, the diagonals bisect our angles. So these two guys are congruent, those two are congruent, those two, those two, woo! A lot of good stuff going on in the rhombus. But be looking out for those perpend or sorry, those uh, Pythagorean triples, right? A little Pythagorean action over here. Also special right triangles can come into play here too, woo! Maybe another time, maybe another time. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting excited. All right, I'll see you dogs later. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.